Hey guys, here's a review of the Oshkosh S Series Front Discharge Mixer. It's made by TWH. It's 150 a scale. This video was requested by Heavy Hauler 16 and Bulldog Excavating. The features on this model are his detailed driver's cab photo etch, steps and catwalks, uh, 11 cubic yard mixer, the drum, a stop on front cylinder to prevent over pivoting, controls for shoot under front bumper on angled section, spring bolt cab and pedestal mounts, limit counter counts, mixer revolutions, 150 gallon water tank behind the cab it's right here um, PVC tubing protects hoses and wiring from pedestal to pedestal two side-by-side -side air tanks it's right here replicated aluminum wheels Two loop or toe loop on rear. It's right here. Quarter fenders on load span axle. Radiator fan with a boot. Uh, chrome muffler stack. Right here. 70 gallon D style aluminum fuel tank located on rear passenger side it's right there uh, storage angle for chute has five degree upward angle right there's your extra chutes Replica replicated black anti-skid material on front fenders black part right there I guess doesn't have it on the other side replicated wire rope step to get into cab that would be right here but it's just, it's metal it's not a wire rope the dimensions on the model are 11 and 3 quarter inches long and seven axle with chute extended. It's ten and a half inches, six axle with chute extended. That would be this one. The width of it is an inch and a qu three quarters. It has a height of three and a quarter inches, and it weighs point ninety five pounds. So, I guess almost a pound. I'm just, just going off this list. It's on diecastmodels.co. That's where I got it from. Here's a figure for comparison. I guess we'll start with the front. has headlights right here there's not really a lens on it it's just got the black outline here turn signal lights or flashing lights has a towing hitch right here it has good suspension on it Right here it has a water hose to spray down the chute. It has two of those actually. There's one right there and one on top. I have the Sheboygan Concrete Court version. 
There's your etched walkways. It has really fine decals on it, warning labels. Here's your side mirrors. They just hook on. Like that. We'll get the door to open. Maybe. There's your inside. I don't know if you can see it. Camera won't focus when I zoom in. There's a seat and steering wheel. It's got a handle and some decals on the door panels. It's really hard to see. Give me a flashlight real quick. And it helps. You can kind of see the details on the panel. The axle, the front axle, it turns. But it doesn't turn very much. That's all it turns. These next two axles, that you can pin them up. I have them pinned up, but they don't really go up that high. Right. There's a little latch right here that you turn. And that's what holds the axle up. And you can see that one still touches the ground. This axle, you can have it raised up. Here's a suspension. It has a really detailed motor in it. Right here is where it latches for the hood to stay closed. It's spring loaded. It's really detailed. Here's the other side of it. You can see the etched out grill. It's really nice. Here's your exhaust. I think this part's metal. Feels like it's metal, but part of the about probably a quarter of this model's plastic. Like this part's plastic. This drum's plastic. It turns. 
Oh, the way is. Down inside of it. You can see it has the grooves in it. I read on Crane's ETC that he put some stuff in it and he turned it and it actually came back out. I tried it with some fine dirt. I guess it was just too light and it didn't work. It didn't come all the way back out. I guess it's just too light, but this part raises up. Not much, just that much. There's more etch walkways. Tires have real nice tread on them, especially the front one. Here's your two chutes. Your chute turns both sides. There's two part fold down right there. There's really tiny hydraulic cylinders on them. They will hold it up. Well, yeah. Your chute can raise up and down. Raised up, all the way down. Here's it. I don't know what you would call it. A screen or something. Keep it from splashing all over the place. But your sh extra chutes are held on with this little strap. The strap's actually a little bit too long. I actually just got it on there for the first time and I've had it for a couple weeks. But to get those chutes on, all you do is just lay them like that. That's the wrong one. There's two of them. They're both different. This one has your prongs and the hooks on it. So it would go next. Just slide it on there. And there's your chute. When you lower it, it'll lower all the way to the ground. It's all the way. There's a comparison with the WorkGen SP15 paver. Concrete pumper.
This is probably one of the most detailed trucks that I've seen made so far. Here's the underside. You can see all the lines and hoses and stuff. They're all replicated. It really doesn't have much steering. It's a really great model. I, I like it. I've been wanting one for a while. I just never really got it because they're expensive. And that's pretty much their all is to it. The mirrors are real, really do work. They're just real fiddly. But that's pretty much all it is to it. It's all to it. Oshkosh S-Series Mixer.